Hi guys, and welcome to another Skyrim mod highlight video. In this video, I'm going to be covering a mod called More Draconic Dragon Aspect. Now, for those of you that do not know, Dragon Aspect is a shout that you get fairly late on in the Dragonborn DLC. It's probably a shout that was aimed at the end game. It is extremely powerful. It lasts for five minutes and it gives you the aspect of a dragon. It makes you look vaguely draconic with spikes coming out of your head and so on. But it also gives you some very powerful buffs for five minutes. It probably is uh, one of the most powerful shouts in the game and to be honest a lot of us consider it almost overpowered but then again it is an end game shout however the more draconic dragon aspect mod makes it look a lot more impressive a lot more uh, draconic by basically adding a few extra little features uh, for example wings and a tail. Now, many of you will recognize the wings from a mod I covered a few weeks ago in one of my Skyrim Mod Sanctuary videos, and that was the animated Dragon Wings mod, and that is actually required for this mod. You're going to need to install that as well. Uh, but this actually means that this is not simply a cosmetic change. The wings are not just there to look more draconic, they are actually functional. You can now jump off cliffs and while using the dragon aspect shout, you can float down. You don't exactly float, but you fall slower and you take no damage when you land, which makes this very, very useful indeed. The mod also extends the duration of the shout from 5 minutes to 10 minutes, making it even more powerful. And it does actually add a couple of extra shouts and spells when in the dragon aspect form. You can now breathe fire and ice via two shouts that get added whilst in that form. And obviously they get removed when the form drops. You also have a spell that allows you to summon a fire drake, which is a kind of disembodied dragon head that will follow you around and fight for you. So you get an extra little summoning spell. This, of course, makes what is already a very powerful shout even more powerful. But again, you have to balance that against the fact that you can only use this once per day. It is the sort of thing you're going to use on the big fights, and it is aimed more towards the end game. It's a lot more immersive than the animated Dragon Wings mod, which is probably more of a niche mod, because, of course, at that really does you know you drink potions and you just get wings and you can do that non-stop this is a once a day thing and is only for sort of the high level dragonborn once he's done that deals so it to me seems a lot more balanced and a lot more immersive uh, you can of course mix this with the flying mod i didn't try that but I assume it works exactly the way it did with the animated dragon wings. And if you want to know how to install everything for that, you can go and see the Skyrim Mod Sanctuary video where I covered that. All round, this is just really a very well done mod. I was surprised how much I liked this mod and how right it felt. I was expecting this was going to be a little gimmicky and something I enjoyed playing around with for five minutes. But actually it's something I am thinking of keeping in my load order. It feels perfectly reasonable, and the, the dragon wings being able to float down off cliffs and things, well, that actually makes it quite useful. And so in the end, I find myself giving this mod a great big thumbs up. Great idea, really well done, and even though it is a little powerful, I find myself okay with that. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful and that you enjoyed it. And of course, I look forward to seeing you on the next Skyrim mod video. And until then, remember, as always, have fun.